Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for, this is your bonus reading uh, for the end of the year. We're just gonna see what is going on in your current general energies in this first row for the end of the year. You have the coyote spirit that says, trust in divine detours. Um, you know, I would say that this could, you know, that there's like some sort of change obviously coming in for you. You have the three of pentacles, page of pentacles, and the five of pentacles. There's something here about your self-worth as well here, Aries, where, um, you know, I feel like you're being led to do something that either increases your self-worth or kind of makes you believe in yourself a little bit more. Some sort of physical change as well I'm getting here, Aries. It's like you feel better. <laughs> uh, some of you, it's like, you could be changing your hair or something like that. You have Leo here. Leo kind of always reminds me of like hair and for obvious reasons. And um, I, I feel like if you're making some sort of physical change or I, I guess I wouldn't, I don't know, is that physical? I have no clue. But um, if you're making some sort of change to like your appearance, then uh, whatever this change is could be making you feel more confident and uh, and or, you know, it's changing the energy in some way. I'm all about making those changes. Like if it, you know, I'm all about it. If it makes you feel more, if some sort of change makes you feel more confident, more bold, more assertive, I think it's a great thing because it's going to change your energy and make you more successful. I do feel like there's some sort of divine detour here, but I want to see what the next card was. And you have this pig spirit it says, use your mind wisely. So I kind of feel for some of you that there's a change that you've been wanting to make. Um, you have the three of pentacles, page of pentacles, in the Five of Pentacles. So this change is in your work, is what I would say here. And probably, um, you know, it's like feeling better at work. <laughs> Those are the words that are popping into my head here with the Three of Pentacles. That's not really what the Three of Pentacles means, but kind of like intuitively, I get that. It's like, I feel like you want to feel like your work matters or, you know, it's kind of like that. That's what's kind of popping into my head. There's some sort of change in the work that you do or that you want to do. And like, I feel like you want to feel like you're doing quality work as well. Um, for a small percentage of you, I feel like it's like you're not doing what you want to do as far as work or business is concerned. So there could be like a change coming in for you in, in regards to doing that. Uh, you have the Page of Pentacles here, and this is popping into my head as good news. It's like good news, but I feel disappointed <laughs> at the same time. I And you know, it could be one of those things where it's like, maybe you're getting some good news, but you have to be, you know, maybe it's like you have to wait longer or something. Like, I feel some of you could be getting some news here. Weird. I've never had a message like that, I don't think, where I feel like there's good news, which is good. You're happy about it. But it's like you're also maybe kind of like a little bit disappointed. I would just say like, don't don't be disappointed, right? I know that's easier said than done, but you know, it's kind of popping into my head as getting news where it's like you're kind of getting something you want, maybe in work or business, but you have to wait longer or there's like a delay or something along those lines. I don't know. For some of you, I'm wondering if that already happened, right? I'm wondering if there has already been a delay and you have that trust in divine detours card. So it kind of reminds me of spiritual flat tires. So I feel like this delay, this delay was not a no is what I'm getting on the five of pentacles. You might be seeing some sort of delay in your life as like a no, but I feel it's just a not right now, right? And actually whatever has been delayed, I feel is coming in for you. So, um, you know, I would keep preparing for something. I get this, I get a lot here in your first row, mostly about work though, but also about preparation. Like I feel like you've been kind of maybe behind the scenes preparing for something for a very long time as well. And, you know, it's like, you know, I feel like you've been preparing for something and now you're finally... Um, and, and maybe there was a delay and now you're finally getting it. So let's see. Uh, with the three of pentacles, you have the temperance card. Yep. Temperance is about turning one thing into another. With temperance, we can turn a yes into a no and a, a no into a yes as well. So I feel like you need to use your powers of tra like transformation. Temperance is about turning one thing into another. So, um, you know, don't be afraid to use your powers of alchemy and all that other stuff. I also, again, you have that card that says use your mind wisely. So I would be making sure that you're thinking more positively. With the Page of Pentacles, you have the King of Wands. Uh, uh, very good. I feel like this is you showing up in the reading. I feel like you're showing up in a position of power and strength. You're ready to do the work is what I'm hearing here, Aries. I don't know. I feel good about this. With the Five of Pentacles, you have the Five of Cups. Definitely again, I, I feel like something, it's almost like you took something as a no, <laughs> but I feel like it's, it was not, it, it's not a no. It's a not right now. And, um, but this is like already happened. So if you had a disappointment, I feel like you're actually, uh, moving towards whatever it is that you wanted, whether it was like a job, a business or otherwise. 
Uh, next in the area of the biggest change that you could be taking right now or making right now, uh, you have this step up and lead card. This is the new moon in Capricorn. So I do feel like you, like the universe wants you to take the lead in some area of your life. I feel like you're, the universe wants you to take the lead on a change. It's very simple. Um, this row is very simple. Nine of swords. I'll just show you. You have nine of swords, four of cups, three of swords. The nine of swords is a round and round situation, right? Nine of swords to me is my card of having a nightmare, waking up and still being in a nightmare. So, you know, basically nine of swords says that like a nightmare has to come to an end. You can see, I'm using the tarot of the mystical moments, by the way, and you can see all these eyeballs on her in the tarot of the mystical moments. So I feel for a lot of you that maybe you, you're like nervous about what people will think if you make some sort of change or, you know, something like that. So I feel like some of you uh, really have to like let go of the fears. You have the four of cups here. Four of cups is a card of disappointments and, um, you know, kind of a card of contemplation and apathy. I kind of, I get like a more of a needing to take action <laughs> kind of vibe here. It's like, sometimes I feel like the four of cups, it, you know, normally has the four of cups in front of him. It, it's kind of like saying that he has, in this case, she, but it doesn't matter, whatever you are. And it's like you've manifested some opportunities, but he's not really grabbing on to those opportunities. He's not mo making any moves. And I kind of feel this is saying like, okay, you, you have some ideas, you have some plans, maybe something didn't work out, but now it's time to take action. It's time for you to like jump on to something. You have the three of swords here. Some of you could be have experienced heartbreak or uh, could be experiencing some sadness from the past. You know, what I would say here is that uh, going three of swords, strength to the devil. I feel some of you could have been dealing with like a manipulative energy or a toxic person. And I just feel that you're kind of bossing up from that. You have the emperor right next to it. So I kind of feel some of you could be healing from a loss as well. And this, I, I feel like this is part of the change that you're going on, undergoing here. With the Nine of Swords, the biggest change that you're making is that you're going to be taking action. And so I feel a lot of you could be taking action to be very successful in the near future. It's like you're moving more towards your goals. I feel like you're understanding. It's like you understand now that you can't just like wait. <laughs> There's like, I'm getting something about no more waiting. And, you know, again, this makes a lot of sense with Jupiter going into your first house. I feel really good about Jupiter entering into your sign. The thing is, is that like I've had Jupiter in my first house this year because I'm a Pisces, but I feel like it's it's going to be a lot better for you. <laughs> I feel like you're getting really lucky, um, you know, just based off of like some other things that are going on. You know, what I would normally say is that with Jupiter in our first house, normally we have to wait. Like it's good. Don't get me wrong. We can expand into the world and all this other stuff. But usually it's like the first house is where we, we plant the seeds. And then when Jupiter moves into our second, which will be the next year for you. So 2024. Um, you know, that's where we, those seeds kind of sprout. But for you, for whatever reason, I feel that, and I, I kind of see it in the astrology as well. I feel like you're getting much quicker results, especially in work or business. So if you're thinking about making any changes, I'm also getting something about upgrading here. So, you know, if you have a business, you could be like upgrading your equipment. Um, you could be upgrading your website. You could be upgrading your services. You know, if you're doing any of that, there's a major upgrade here. Maybe that's what this reading is <laughs> because, you know, I was talking about making changes to your appearance as well. There's something here about confidence because of some changes that you're making. So it could be to your appearance, but it could it could be also to your business, but it could be to everything, right? And I would definitely recommend it. Uh, with the four of cups, you have the hermit. A lot of hermit energy, pretty weird. Um, I really didn't expect so much hermit energy in these readings, but I did see a lot of hermits in this reading. So in these readings for pretty much all signs. Uh, you know, could be all the retrogrades. You know, I think the retrogrades make us a little bit more withdrawn. Maybe they make us, um, you know, go back into hermit mode. Uh, re retrogrades are a great time for reflection. The hermit is kind of a card of reflection and reflecting on the things that you've been through and the changes you maybe want to make in the future. So, you know, I kind of feel you're in that energy and I think that, you know, it's perfectly acceptable to do that during a retrograde. With the Three of Swords, you have the Ace of Cups. There is definitely new love coming in for you, especially if you've recently gone through a heartbreak or a separation. Some of you, uh, for some of you, I feel like you're saying you don't want love ever again. <laughs> that's a lie, Aries, because I feel like deep down inside you do with the Ace of Cups. Obviously, that's not going to be true for all of you, but for some of you. And I definitely feel there's love coming in. Uh, if you truly don't want love, and even if you do, the Ace of Cups is a great card for doing things that fulfill us. So like projects, businesses, and you know all that other stuff. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have this clean it up card here. 
Again, I feel this is part of your appearance. This card is about cleaning up your vibration. But again, I don't know. Sometimes we, it, we make a change to our appearance and it makes us more confident or whatever. That is cleaning up your vibration. Uh, I would also say that anything you can do in your environment, like the things around you, to maybe put it, organize things, or maybe you're just creating a, a, an environment of, of success then I would definitely do that. You know, I always tell a story. When I come in here, I have a button over here. Literally, I press, it turns everything on. All my cameras, all my lights, everything. It's like, it removes resistance from my day. It's like, I don't have to think about it. I just come in, turn it on, right? And like, when I'm recording, I just hit a button right here. It just automatically records Aries. Then when it's done, I hit stop. I go to the next sign. It's like, I've try, I've set this up to make it as simple as possible, right? And, and to me, um, you know, this year, the Nine of Pentacles came up a lot in the readings. And the Nine of Pentacles is the card of environment. And there's a snail on the Nine of Pentacles. And the snail kind of wears its home on its back. So it kind of represents, you know, your environment. <laughs> and I would say this row is definitely saying to me, if there are things you can do to make your environment an environment of success, I would definitely do that. There's a book by James Clear, the, his um, habit book. And he talks all about this. I can't, I can never remember the name of it. It's like the power of habit or, I don't know, it's by James Clear. If, you, if, you're, if you're interested, just look up James Clear Habits. And he has a book all about it. And, um, you know, this row is kind of reminding me of that. That's why I'm babbling on about this. Uh, you have the Eight of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Emperor. I definitely feel that you are showing up in a very strong position. It's kind of interesting because I'm seeing the Strength card as love, by the way. So, you know, I feel there could be like a Strength person. I almost, yes, I understand that you are Aries. You are not Leo. I get it. I understand that. But what I would say is I almost feel like you are that lion. <laughs> and I feel that that lady there could be a person coming in for you in love. And it doesn't matter what gender, you know, bear with me. Use your imagination, Aries, right? I feel like that person is like a very kind, caring, um, nurturing person that is coming in for you. I feel like this is you. Uh, there's two emperors in this deck, by the way. And I love this emperor, ver this version of the emperor. The other one is a little bit more like negative. It's like kind of like the controlling side of the emperor. This this one is more focused on building a castle. You can see the castle on his head here. So I feel that you're like really showing up in a strong position here as far as the unexpected is concerned. But back to this card here, I feel like this person softens you. You know, I feel like there's a person coming in for you who's very like kind, caring, nurturing. I'm not even picking up on a sign, if I'm being honest, except for earth. It could be an earth sign. Uh, it could be a Capricorn that's coming in for you. Uh, it could also be a Virgo. You have both showing up here. Uh, you know, take it how it resonates. It could be any sign. But I feel like this person's very nurturing. It's almost like, you know, the whole point of the strength card is that that lion is submitting to her. Even on the traditional strength card, the lion submitting to her, it says that, you know, it kind of represents her inner voice, her inner critic, and she's able to control it. And it's something she has to work on every single day. But the weird thing is, intuitively, I feel like this is a person who I don't think they control you. Um, this is a card of, of soft control. You know, there are two cards of real control, this card and the chariot. The chariot is the card of hard control. But she doesn't really have to do anything. So I almost feel there's like a force, a person that's coming in for you that kind of like softens you, that you feel good around. Like just, I don't know, it just feels good. So I definitely like that. I also feel like this is saying that you've been very patient for an opportunity. Right next to it, here you have the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel you've been kind of patiently waiting. The other thing is, is sometimes I think we have to get our vibration to a place so that we can get an opportunity in our life. And this looks like a financial opportunity to me. And it's almost like you've kind of risen, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. You have the Eight of Pentacles here. Eight of Pentacles is a card of apprenticeship. And so I feel whatever you've been working on for like the past four or five, six years, right? It's almost as if it has been your like apprenticeship with the universe. And the universe is about to lift you up to maybe the next level or to something different. So a lot of you could be like changing jobs, switching businesses, doing any of that stuff. Um, really, I would say it's more of an upgrade than anything. And I feel like I say this to you a lot. So, um, you know, I think I've said this in past readings, this whole entire reading, I've been saying that it looks kind of like an upgrade to me. I feel like you're upgrading yourself. I feel like you're upgrading the things you work on, your your business, your job, your career. Uh, even if you're retired, you know, there are plenty of things you could be upgrading. You could be upgrading your home, your house, um, where you live, pretty much anything. <laughs> but I'm kind of seeing that Eight of Pentacles as the upgrade energy in this reading. With the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Two of Swords. Yeah, it's like you're creating a new comfort zone. Normally on the Two of Swords, the lady, she's sitting where she has always been. There's a new island behind her. And that new island just represents a new comfort zone, a new place. It's not even a comfort zone because it's uncomfortable for her to go over there, but she needs to do it anyway because that's where growth is. 
with the here i you cannot make this up with the strength card you have the united cups i told you i knew i knew that this was love the strength card you know again i read intuitively i don't just regurgitate card meanings and that's what i was getting on that strength card that that was a person coming in for you it could be a leo i really don't feel leo energy but again this is a general reading um could be a water sign i'm pretty sure you've had water in your readings before and it would make sense based off of how i describe this person and i'm sure some of you are saying fire and water don't go well together and um you know i'm here to tell you that if you're judging people based off their sun sign it's a great recipe for being single for the rest of your life so i've had this channel for eight years and i still have some of the same people leaving comments on my video saying i'll never date a taurus i'll never date a scorpio i'm like why do you think you've been single for at least the eight years that i've known your ass right why do you think that is because you're judging sun signs. So what I would say here is judge the person, not the not the uh, chart, right? Because you don't know what else is in their chart that could make them completely different. So rant over. What I would say here is it could be any sign as well. <laughs> I feel like they're just like a knight in shining armor. I feel like they sweep you off your feet, make you feel good. I feel this is a really good connection if there's love coming in for you. Uh, with the emperor, you have the knight of pentacles here. I feel like this is what you've experienced. I feel like you're sick and tired of this, especially in love. Like if you want love, you know, I feel like you're sick and tired of like the hemming and hawing, you know, type of person who doesn't really invest, who really is just lazy and does nothing. Uh, I also feel in work, this is saying you're much more prepared for success than you realize. So if you're thinking, like I almost get the words, like you need to start rolling things out. Maybe you have some ideas in the background, you know, especially for you business people. I feel like this is saying like, start rolling things out, start getting things going. Uh, next in, uh, the area of messages from your future self, you have the ship card. It says distance and journey on it. I, you know, honestly, I see a bunch of you traveling just in general. I mean, to me, if you're an Aries, I'm, I'm, I think I say this every single reading, it's impossible for you probably not to be traveling a lot for the next 10 years, <laughs> something like that. So, you know, just based off your astrology doesn't surprise me. Uh, you have this key, it says lock, unlock on it. So I feel like something's opening up to you. And I feel like your future self though is saying, like you have the key to unlock something. Let's, and it's probably this right here. You have the devil, the ace of pentacles and the hierophant. This is what you're unlocking probably is a big opportunity. Ace of pentacles is a big opportunity, something that has potential. That is also the problem with the ace of pentacles is it's just an opportunity that just has potential which pretty much means nothing, you know, potential doesn't really exist. So I feel for a lot of you, this is saying like your thoughts, your ideas, you're going the right direction, but you need to kind of like nurture something here. I feel like you need to, you know, kind of put something into practice. Like if you've been, what has potential, well, I'm just going to go here. What has potential is this. I feel like your future self is saying, what has potential is your knowledge, the Hierophant. The Hierophant, he has a lot of knowledge and wisdom, but I almost feel like you are the Hierophant. I feel like you are the one that could teach people, not literally, maybe just by being an example, right? That's a great way to teach people. It's the best way to teach people. I think uh, one of my favorite people of all time, Ultimate Warrior, he says, you know, don't uh, instruct people, inspire people. And that's kind of like what I feel like you're doing here with the Hierophant. And really by doing nothing other than living your life, which is great. You do have the devil here. I feel like the, your future self is saying, be careful of a devil. I get some sort of weird situation here popping into my head where it's like maybe someone has left you in the past. Maybe they went to like one of their exes and now they're like trying to come back to you because that person didn't want them. Like I get this like ping pong ball type of situation here. So, you know, don't be a rebound to a rebound to a rebound is what this is saying, <laughs> if that makes sense. I would also say that it's a great time to watch your health. I'm not, a, of course, I'm not a doctor, so do not take this as medical advice. But, um, you know, I do feel the devil, Mars retrograde. I, you know, I always tell people just like, you know, be careful. And especially during Mars retrograde, like if you're, you know, lifting boxes above your head or something, like I would be super careful of doing that stuff. Make sure your feet are in the right place. You know, all that other stuff. Just take your time during Mars retrograde. That's all I'll say there. And uh, with the devil, you have the hangman. Someone made you wait is what I would say here. Um, so I don't know. I feel like you're done waiting uh, with this energy, honestly. I feel like you're kind of like, you know, over the games in general. It's like, if, like if I feel, especially in love, your future self is saying, like, if people want to come to you, they really need to come. This is more than correct. Not They don't need to come correct. They need to come like straight, <laughs> straight shooter and tell you exactly what they want up front. I feel like you're over it with this energy for whatever reason. With the uh, Ace of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's going to be more work for you to be doing. Um, You know, a couple of people have had messages like this that it, where really like the cards are saying to me that there could be some work to be done, but and especially on new opportunities. But at the same time, you're going to be successful. I always say with the Ten of Wands, he's about to put his burden down. He's about to reach his 
home that's in the background of the card. So, you know, I like that part of it. And it's also a harvest. He planted those wands, in, you know, earlier in the season. Now he's harvesting them. So is it really that bad of a card? I would say no. With the Hierophant, you have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is a card of conviction. And it's also a card of drawing a line in the sand. You know, I feel like you're surprising people, not just like at the end of this year, but as we move through next year, it wouldn't, it, it, this is kind of popping into my head as something that is more coming in for you next year is that I feel like you're surprising people with the fact that you're kind of putting up really strong boundaries with that seven of wands in, you know, even to the point where I feel like you're kind of drawing a line in the sand. And I feel this is surprising people. Maybe you've had some people who are like in and out of your life and you're not allowing it anymore. So I kind of like that. Uh, I pulled six Oracle cards now. These are just going to be additional messages uh, for the end of the year. You have this card that says, try not to resist the change, the changes that come your way. Don't delay the inevitable. Definitely some big changes. Um, I feel like there are spiritual flat tires. And again, you know, I don't want to scare you. And I, I don't think this is a bad thing either. But if you're not going in the right direction, I feel like you're going to experience more flat tires. Um, so I would pay attention to that. I'd also pay attention to the warning signs as well. It's like there might be little things happening here and there. I don't think, again, not this is not a scary thing. I want to stress that. But it's like sometimes I think things happen. You know, I'll just tell you, it's like, you know, a couple months ago, this YouTube channel got taken down by accident, but it still kind of made me a little bit nervous, right? It still made me start working on some other things that I've been putting off um, because I just don't want to get caught with my pants down, right, Aries? So <laughs> I kind of feel like this reading is saying, don't get caught with your pants down in some area of your life, especially if you're getting little warning signs like that. Like that was a warning to me. I don't think anything's going to happen, but I'm also going to prepare, right? Uh, you have this card that says there's still time to change the road you're on. It's never too late. Definitely some sort of change coming in for you, clearly. Uh, you have this card that says there's nothing outside of you that can fulfill you. So you are fulfilling yourself as well. I feel like you've realized that with like in love. Uh, you have this underworld card. It says find unconventional ways to explore new sources of income. Definitely. I, I feel there's a lot of opportunity for you to make more income. I'm pretty sure in like one of your last readings as well that I was getting a message about kind of like, you know, almost like adding on services or, you know, if you have a business adding on services in your career, I feel like there could almost be something different uh, that you could be doing or there could be a new opportunity as well. Uh, next, you have the silence card. It says moving in silence while you continue to build. I would be careful of sharing your ideas all year, like all this year. I'm wondering, I really can't, I really don't see it in the astrology other than maybe Mars retrograde can be a little jealous, a little gossipy, especially in uh, Gemini as well. So I would say, you know, I'd be careful of like sharing your ideas and I would be careful who you share your ideas with. I don't think anyone will steal your ideas. I think the concern here is that if you tell someone your ideas and they hate on it, then you're not going to do it. So, you know, I would get your ideas going. Then when they're going, then you can share your ideas. You have this workaholic card. It says having a strong worth ethic and giving it 110%. I would balance the energy, especially with Mars retrograde. I wouldn't be, you know, banging your head against the wall, working like crazy too much, but you know, remember Ten of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, I do feel you are going to be very busy at this time. And, you know, again, part of me does feel like it's because you're seeing the results. So to me, as long as you're seeing the results, then it's perfectly fine. Uh, we're going to pull three cards now and I'm going to answer like a personal, personal-ish question. If you have a question, that's great. Feel free to pause the reading. If you don't have a question, that's fine too. I'm going to put all three together at the end and I'm going to answer them as like a personalist reading. So again, if you have a question, feel free to pause now because I'm going to read the cards right now. You have the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. If you're asking about walking away from something, uh, not even just a person, but just walking away from something, I love this Knight of Cups in this deck because she's like holding a heart. And I feel for some of you, you might be asking like, do I make this change? Do I walk away from my job? Or it could be a person. And I really feel like this is saying, hell yes. <laughs> because the reason is, is that I feel like something has been a burden or a per like a person or a situation. And the Eight of Cups really says you're walking towards fulfillment as well. For those of you that want love, again, I feel there could be like a water sign coming in for you. You have a lot of water here. I'm pretty sure you've had water in other readings as well. So it wouldn't really surprise me. It could also just be a person who gives off water vibes, like maybe they're very intuitive, very nurturing, very kind, very caring. Then it could be any sign, you know, of course. But, um, you know, that's like a knight in shining armor, someone sweeping you off your feet. I feel like this person takes burdens off your shoulders as well. It's like maybe it's a person who makes your life easier in some way. But uh, pretty interesting reading, Aries. I love this. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.